It's Mike Herzing with In Wheel Time. We're in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Beautiful country here, folks. Tell you what, we're driving the new 2014 Tundras from Toyota. A lot of nice changes. So I'm welcome, you know. Uh, powertrain's not really changed. Fuel economy's gonna be the same. Lots of power, fuel economy's okay. Uh, the main thing we're gonna do is they're really working on the interior and a lot of the trim. And I'll show you some, some well, pictures of it when we stop but I tell you what it's a, it's a big improvement the looks are much better on this truck and I like that a lot of nice features they've done a lot of work on it they've got two new top-end models one of them called the platinum one of them called the 1794 which is kind of the cowboy version sounds to me like they're going after the King Ranch and Larry Me Longhorn and that's okay they can use some competition Beautiful trucks, beautiful country. Tell you what, folks, this is a great event. Well, let's get on the road. Here in the Grand Teton National Park. Got this limited, it's nice interior, big, nice, very quiet truck. We notice a lot. Think they've got a lot of you added things like that. It's got a tailgate. Uh, dampener when, so it doesn't slam the gate down. There's a lot of nice things. Nice changes. I really like the front end of this truck much better than the old one. You know, in the past I haven't been the, the biggest fan of this truck, but they've really, really done a lot to it. And tell you what, if you haven't seen it, looked at one of the Tundras lately, you need to. It's a nice truck. Uh, I keep saying that, I just kind of like, uh, can't get that out of your head. They've done a lot of nice changes to it. I like the LED headlights too. Headlights, taillights, uh, fender flares are different. Uh, they've got some some new uh, aero aero package thing, little vortex generators around around the truck that help that help it on aero stability. They've just done a lot of nice things to it. It's just it's just evolving into um, more than they ever thought it could be. This is Mike Herzing with uh, In Wheel Time. Please like us on Facebook. That's Facebook forward slash In Wheel Time, and go to InWheelTime.com for more on this Tundra. Hey, see you soon. We're enjoying, uh, we're really having a good time here in Jackson, Wyoming. We're back at the the, the uh, Diamond Cross Ranch here. A great truck, we had a nice run with it all through the Grand Teton uh, National Park. Some of the difference is they've got a new tailgate, a uh, little bit different fender flares. They've just, they've really just refined this vehicle. Uh, nice little tundra stamping in the rear. This is the new three-piece bumper, which is great in case you dent it or something. You can replace it in pieces. They've moved where the uh, trailer light plugs are from down low, where it gets ripped off up to high. It's, it's out of the way. It's kind of a neat thing. Uh, they've changed their running board just a little bit. Let's look inside. Fit and finish is good on this, that's a typical Toyota. Notice how wide these doors open. Also, these seats will fold fold back out of the way. You can actually store some of your cargo in here. Nice big back seat. Lots of room in this vehicle. Up front you're going to find a few changes here. Uh, much nicer materials inside. Just they've just refined this thing. Big, wide, comfortable seats. You're going to find that. They've taken the center stack, and uh, and they've moved everything to, toward the driver about two inches. Now you really don't notice that until you try to reach to change a knob or something. You'll notice everything's just a little bit closer and easier to get to. Uh, nice big center console. Nice truck. Tell you what, really is.